Victorians are two weeks away from a state election and polling predicts Dennis Napthine's coalition government could be headed for defeat. In one electorate in the state's east, an independent candidate has emerged following dissatisfaction with the handling of the Hazelwood mine fire and its aftermath. The open cut coal mine sits adjacent to the Latrobe Valley town of Morwell which over the years has endured more than its share of ups and downs. But few events rival February's mine fire, which shrouded the town of 14,000 in smoke and ash, and many in the affected communities felt abandoned. Resident Julie Brown sought assistance at the local neighbourhood house, which she says became a community hub in the absence of guidance from authorities. Non-existent. There was no leadership. I didn't even know who I should have been looking at as a leader. Like many Morwell residents, Ms Brown's children suffered throat infections and respiratory problems. So the family temporarily relocated to a free campsite out of town. Neighbourhood house manager Tracy Lund says it took too long for authorities to act in the days and weeks after the fire, prompting her to run as an independent candidate in the November election. There was nobody taking ownership and going, there's a big problem, let's deal with it. And I think the community um, really, really noticed that. It, it was a critical time for this community and they needed a voice, they needed a strong community advocate. Sitting National MP Hello, Russell please. North concedes some agencies could have done more, but says he did his best. It was a difficult time for all concerned. Um, so. Some people will use it as a political purpose, uh, and that's unfortunate. Uh, otherwise, I think there's some genuine concern in the community. Labor candidate Jaden Minton says issues beyond the fire will also come into play. The 24-year-old believes the valley must diversify beyond coal, citing timber processing as a possible alternative. Could very well provide the quality, high-paying jobs for the Latrobe Valley in the next 10 to 20 years and that's certainly something I'm keen to investigate. Victorian Coalition's four-year term has been marked by the still unexplained removal of Premier Ted Bailey and internal division often centred on Liberal turned independent Jeff Shaw. It'll take a swing of just 1% across the board to force a change of government on November 29 speaker, and current polling service. suggests what? that's likely. Even if current polling is accurate, the Greens are tipped to secure three or even four upper house seats, possibly delivering the balance of power in the new Victorian Parliament. Luke Waters, SBS World News.